Welcome to the Group Exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. We are here at the Technical Forum and my name is Muriel Buakas. Please have a seat, join us for the upcoming presentation, have a coffee, have some drinks, it's all for free. I would also like to give a warm welcome to our guests watching this presentation online through our live streaming channel. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the next presentation because we didn't have a topic yet on our technical forum. It will be regarding sodium nickel chloride battery back in market. And please welcome with me on stage Group Manager Stationary Storage Systems from the Fraunhofer Institut für Keramische Technologien und Systeme, Dr. Matthias Schulz. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation. Thanks for the kind introduction. Um, yes, I'm, I'm, my, my name is Matthias Schulz. I'm researcher and work group leader on the front of our IKTS. IKTS stands for Institute for Ceramic Technologies and Systems. Uh, yeah, the title of my presentation is, is already given. Sodium nickel chloride batteries back in market. So I will give you an, yeah, an introduction in this very interesting battery technology. And I will show you some results of R&D at Fraunhofer IKTS. First, the, the agenda of my presentation. Um, yes, I will tell you something about the Fraunhofer IKTS and the Fraunhofer Association. Uh, some figures about my institute. And then I will introduce you the sodium nickel chloride battery technology. I will show you how this battery works and what market we are focusing on with this battery technology. I will give you some the current status of our developments. Um, I will have an example and project and running project together with industry. And at last, I will summarize my talk very shortly and give a short outlook. So Fraunhofer IKTS belongs to the Fraunhofer Association. The Fraunhofer Association is the biggest applied research association in Germany with about 25,000 employees and about 60 institutes all over Germany. IKTS is one of the biggest institutes, these numbers here are from 2015. So in 2015, we had about 580 employees, uh, full-time equivalents uh, altogether. That means we are about 700 employees at Fraunhofer IKTS. Some more numbers from 2015, as I told you, we had an operating budget of 15 million euros and industrial revenues of about 20 million euros. That means the industry comes to Fraunhofer IKTS. The industry has an idea for a new product and together with IKTS, we develop these products. So what are we doing? Institute for Ceramic Technologies and Systems, we develop ceramic technologies, ceramic components, materials in every field of application that you can imagine. And you would be surprised if you, if you look into your car where ceramic is inside your car. OK, Fraunhofer IKT has, has um, different facilities in, in, in Germany. The headquarter is located in Dresden. Um, me, I myself come from Thuringia, from Hermsdorf. There's a, a facility with about 140 employees. And another one is in Dresden Klotscher. Then we have uh, some application centers. One is in, maybe in, in, in Saxony, in Pleisa. Together with ThyssenKrupp System Engineering, we have there a pilot plan for lithium-ion battery cell production. Uh, another application center for bioenergy in Saxony and one for uh, membrane technology for separation processes based on ceramic membranes. Uh, this is located in Thuringia. And last but not least, we have an Yes, and Fraunhofer Center for Energy and Innovation. This is located in the USA, in Connecticut. So we are a big institute, as I told you already. So now let me explain you, or let me tell you something about this yeah, interesting battery technology, sodium nickel chloride batteries. Um, the sodium nickel chloride battery is a high temperature battery. You might know them under a different name, the Zebra battery. So this is an, yeah, an old technology that's, that was developed in the 90s. The operating temperature of these high temperature batteries is about 300 degrees C, but please don't be afraid of this temperature. Um, you don't, do not need to have doubts about a battery in your house. The battery will not burn. Um, everything is completely safe. So how do these batteries work? Um, the core component of this battery is a, is a ceramic tube. Uh, this is an 
Ceramic solid electrolyte is made of sodium beta alumina. This is a sodium ion conductive ceramic that works, that has an excellent sodium ion conductivity at elevated temperatures. So just imagine a white ceramic tube that is closed at the bottom. You put the tube into a cell case, this is sheet metal, very simple, stainless steel. Then you insert a current collector, this is nickel. Then you put in the cathode material, and this is quite interesting. The cathode that defines the, the capacity of the cell is made of table salt, nickel powder, and some additives. So we are using abundant and very cheap raw materials here. Then you close the cell, and the cell is ready for operation. And if you did everything well, you end with such a beautiful cell here. Uh, this is an example from IKTS. This is a 40 ampere hour cell that we developed together with R cube. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the current status of our development in this project. OK. Something about chemistry, but very shortly. Um, down here, the overall cell reaction is given. Um, so we have nickel. This doesn't work, the pointer. So we have nickel in the cathode, sodium chloride, the table salt. And we take the sodium from the table salt uh, and we, in, in the charging process, and we transport the sodium through the ceramic electrolyte and form molten metallic sodium at the outside of this ceramic tube. It looks like that. Here we have our uh, schematic drawing of the cell again, the cathode inside the tube here. And if we charge the cell the first time, we produce sodium, yellow color down here. So we charge the cell, the higher the charge state is, the more sodium is formed and discharging like that. The, um, the chemical reaction is very robust and we have a an, an voltage of the cell, a nominal voltage of 2.58 volts. OK, why is IKTS doing developments in this battery technology? There are some reasons that I want to point out here. Uh, first of all, of course, energies, we will have business with, energies, uh, with batteries anyway. Uh, we have different very nice business cases. Some of them are listed here. Um, for instance, backup power applications, off-grid power, uh, self-consumption, very popular in Germany. Everybody who has it home, uh, it's, it's, it's house, uh, and a PV installation on top of the roof wants to consume its homemade electrons. This is quite popular in Germany at the moment. Some other business cases, for instance, demand charge reduction, uh, renewable generation, peak shifting, or primary and secondary control reserve. That means we have more and more renewable energies in the grid, and we need to stabilize the grid. And therefore, we can use batteries perfectly. Um, at the right side of the slide, there is a, yes, a nice diagram that you can find in literature. This was published in 2015, I think, from the Bureau, Bureau F. And here you can see a forecast that was made from different institutions um, in, in Europe, I think. And this forecast looks pretty nice. So the market will grow, and they prognose this as, uh, that we will have an annual growth of about 40% for business with batteries. So this is a very good reason to go into research to develop batteries. So we have these nice business cases, these forecasts, but actually we do not have big business with batteries. And this is the reason, therefore, is quite simple. Um, the batteries are too expensive at the moment. So there's no technology on the market that really is able to, to generate costs that you have business with this battery. Um, here is a, a diagram that was taken from literature uh, published from Mr. Nyquist in 2015. The, the costs for lithium-ion batteries, the development over the time, and these red lines are markers for target costs that we need to realize with battery technology to have really big business. OK, so we want to have cheap batteries with excellent performance. So there's, there are thousands of researchers and companies at the moment over, all over the world are looking for, I call it, the holy grail of the battery. That means we want to have, yes, batteries with high energy and power density, with safe operation and very, very low costs. Um, we at Fraunhofer, well, we will not found, find the holy grail, that's clear. Um, but we think that we are on the way to develop a technology that will help us to solve the problems that we will have in the future with the battery technologies. That's why we detected sodium nickel chloride batteries as a very, very pro much promising candidate. So here are some benefits listed um, of this technology. Uh, these batteries consist of 
abundant and very low cost raw materials. That means we have table salt inside, stainless steel, alumina powder and nickel. Nickel is the most expensive component. Um, the battery is intrinsic safe. That means you will not have a thermal runaway. The battery is non-toxic, non-explosive and non-flammable. The battery is robust. We do not need single cell monitoring, cell monitoring, cell balancing, and we will not need maintenance. So this is a maintenance-free battery. Uh, and this is a proven technology. As I already explained to you, the battery was developed in the 1990s. And there's one company at the moment on the market with the batteries with a lot of experience. So we did not start at the very beginning of the development. We, what we are doing at the moment is we re-engineer this technology, we have a very detailed look at, at all process steps in the manufacturing line to bring down the cost and to make this battery technology much more efficient. OK, what's the current status of our developments at IKTS? We have a, at the moment, we have a project with an Indian company. The company is located in, in India, yes, in Pune, uh, Arcube Energy Storage Systems, LLP. And for this customer, we develop in a in a huge project, uh, this technology. And we start with the materials. That means we, yes, we develop new materials, ceramic materials, uh, electrochemical active materials. And we will end in the middle of 2019 with a system that is yeah, almost ready for the market. So some more details about our R&D activities here. Um, we develop technologies and competencies along the complete value chain. This is the Fraunhofer story. Um, we start, as I already told you, with the materials. That means we, we do basic research in the field of material development, in particular for the ceramic solid electrolyte, for the white ceramic tube inside the battery, and for the electrochemical active materials for the cathode material. The next step in the value chain, in the process line, is that we Yes, we make components of the materials. Uh, in the nice pictures here, you can see these white ceramic tubes. These are ceramic electrolytes made of sodium beta alumina manufactured at front of our IKDS. A um, uh, very important issue is that we develop the processes to manufacture such components. And if you start, please, the animation now. Here you can see a new shaping technology that was developed at front of IKTS that is called plastic extrusion. You can see here a vertical extruder. This is like a noodle machine. And what we do is that we, yeah, we manufacture a dough, but not a dough to, to make a cookie or a cake. Uh, we have a, a dough with ceramic particles inside. And we do shaping these ceramic tubes by this process. And this is much faster, much more efficient than the conventional technologies that are on the market at the moment. OK, next step to come to a battery is that you need to build up a cell. Uh, so we do cell development, starting from design studies um, supported by yeah, multi-physics modeling technologies that we have implemented in-house. Uh, then, of course, we need set up cells, and we do cell testing. Here in this picture, you can see some cells. Uh, these are 40 ampere hour cells for the, that, was, that were developed and that were art. Are, we test these cells at the moment at front of our IKTS. Um, next step will be um, the system. That means we need to integrate the cells into a module and, into, and we need to yeah, set up a, a battery management system. Here so is a design study given. And on the right side of the transparency, see, you can see yes, the first, really very first prototype of a, of a system, of a battery system. This looks yeah, pretty scientific um, because we have a lot of uh, sensors inside to control all cells and that a final product will look completely different, much more robust. OK, let me summarize my talk. So the market for batteries will grow definitely and we will definitely have business with batteries. But we will have business with batteries if we reach target costs on cell level below 100, kilos, uh, 100 euros per kilowatt hour. That's what we believe and that is what you can find in literature. Um, sodium nickel chloride batteries are an excellent candidate for energy storage in an economic, efficient and sustainable way. Because we use abundant, cheap raw materials the batteries are safe, they are robust, and they will work perfectly. Um, 
we, ICAT, yes, we provide the know-how know and the, the machinery, the equip equipment that you need to develop such batteries together with customers from industry. And we are on the way to commercialize this technology again with partners from industry. In 2019, there will be a spin-off near my institute together with a company where we want to install the first prototype line to manufacture about 20,000 cells per year. And my last statement for today is, so there is in minimum one competitive te battery technology beside lithium that will help us in the future, yes, to realize the storage, yeah, the storage uh, that we need to realize, to stabilize the grid and in, in, in RAM, in the, in the frame of Energiewende in Germany. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much for this very interesting presentation. Are there any questions from the audience? So how come this was not yet considered, or it was earlier, but you are re bringing it back to the market, kind yes. of? Yes, this is somehow, my microphone, no, yes. This is somehow, no, there is one supplier at the moment all over the world that manufactures these batteries in a quantity of about yeah, 200, 250 megawatt hours per year, and he's doing good business. But this technology is somehow, yeah, forgotten. It's not popular. Lithium-ion batteries, everybody knows lithium-ion batteries. This is our, yeah, somehow a diva. It's nice, fast. Um, this battery is a little bit slower, but maybe not so sexy, but it's an excellent, robust candidate for stationary st storage. Yeah, especially I think costs. Uh, everybody yes. is interested in costs as a company, especially. Yeah. So you provide a, a great solution for that. Thank you very much uh, for introducing us to this new old technology. Um, if you have further questions or want to discuss uh, later on, there's a booth here on the group exhibit uh, E51. There but are some more booths in other halls. Yes, bo booth 20, H25 in Hall 6. I will be there till Friday evening. Great. Thank you very much. If you You're missed welcome. the presentation, if you want to watch it again, uh, if you want to look into detail, the presentation will be available on the website later this day. Thank you very much. Um, we will continue with our next presentation and the last one before a little uh, lunch break. It will be regarding the topic low cost type for pressure vessels, the contribution to lower the cost of transporting hydrogen. It will be held by Ole Martin Olsen, Director of Business Development of the Umoe Advanced Composites. Um, please stay with us, have a coffee, have a refreshment. We will continue in about two minutes. Thank you very much.